I did get to finish my breakfast bowl so i have that little picture for you so you guys can see but that's why it's not in the actual video Duh. you know when you think you have enough juice left in your phone you don't so anyway i wanted to since i guess i was in like the glasses mood so today i changed my glasses up because i didn't bring sometimes i leave my eyeglasses at work because i wear them I work the most, um, especially while I'm looking at the, the screen all day. My eyes get really tired and blurry. So a lot of times I'll just leave my glasses at work. Um, so I did, those are my, I have um, the Tom Ford Clear. They're like a blush color. They look kind of, they're in between like nude and blush. Um, and they're all, they're fully clear and they have like the little t the time the t's for the time for it on the side so i switched over to my old balenciagas they're really not old to be honest um <laughs> they're just from like i think no i got the time for us last year i think in the summertime and i think i got these like right before that so they're really not old to be honest with you and i see I can still see out of these, so the prescription is really not that off. I don't think it's really that different. But these are the Balenciagas. Um, these are sunglasses. My other eyeglasses are sunglasses also. I actually have the sunglass lenses too, so I can throw those back in and make them sunglasses all over again if I really wanted to. But I really like this like wing tip, the cat eye situation here. Um, that gave me kind of like a different look. Kind of makes me look like a little teacher kind of i don't know how many teachers wear balenciagas but um i just think they look really classic and clean and they look cute so this inspired me to do a quick little sunglass tutorial now let me tell you guys all my friends think i have like a zillion pairs of sunglasses i don't i don't i really don't what happens is I usually have like sunglasses that don't really go out of style. So I could have like five-year-old sunglasses on and everybody's like, oh, your sunglasses. I'm like, these are old as hell. Like, stop acting like I bought new sunglasses all the freaking time. I don't. So I'm going to do... A sunglass haul for you guys so you guys can see all the different ones that I have um it's not a lot by the way it's not a lot maybe it's not a lot in my opinion you can determine that when we're finished um so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do I have like a mix between old and new again I keep my sunglasses forever if I really love them or they're classic like obviously I won't keep like two 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 trendy glasses I've given away a lot of sunglasses um so I don't have all my sunglasses that I've ever purchased so these are just the ones that I've kept I feel like they're classic I'm never gonna give them away I'll keep them forever most likely um or until I replace them with like another pair of similar styled ones so i can still have that look because i'm there's probably something about them that i really really love so i'm gonna start off with like the newer ones because those will be the most interesting to you guys and then i'll go down to the old ones older ones and then i'll also show you guys some that um i bought that are you can't even repurchase them because they're vintage and I love them and like I die for them and I keep them in a literally in a box because I'm scared they're gonna get broken they're very very delicate and I barely even, so if I ever wear whenever I wear them let me say ever because I don't really wear them that much but when I do wear them I don't take them off 
and I have a few sunglasses that I don't have to take off and then I'll also tell you guys which ones I have that are actually prescription because I love them I need chapstick you guys Oh, maybe I'll do, I have that um, lip scrub and I have the machine. Yeah, I, got, I went hard on my machines. I was going to show you guys that too. Like all of my beauty machines, um, machines, devices that I use or haven't used in a long time, but I have them. I need like a whole counter of beauty, right? Like to where I can literally have them out displayed and ready for use. I need a beauty room. That's what it is. I need a full on beauty room. This is just like my little office and I have my little side area where I have like all my knickknacks. So I have like a dresser drawer, um, kind of like Ikea style. And I have each one there. They actually have dividers. So I have all of my hair supplies, um beauty products um they all sit in the dresser drawers my sunglasses my accessories they're all in drawers organized and like put into little squares that i just bought them from ikea and you just place them in there i have like my headbands and things like that all kind of like organized like i died for that that was like the best thing i could have ever did in my life <laughs> So anyway, let's get back to our sunglass haul. So um, I told you guys about these. These aren't really that old. So they're kind of in the newer theme of things. Um, so I'm going to show you guys these Tom Ford's that I love. Baby, I love these. I love these to wear. I want to get, they have um, like a yellow color, like these newer ones. And they're all clear. Uh, I wish I could show you guys. I don't have a picture or anything. Um, I have to look them up again, but they are newer than these. They're more expensive than these, um, but they have similar, like the same look of these, but they're clear. And I think I kind of want those for the summertime. <sighs> I need to let the sunglasses go sometimes. I really have too many. Did I say I had too many? I don't have too many. I haven't even bought any this year. So if you buy two or three pairs of sunglasses per year, is that a lot? To me, it's not. Okay, whatever. All right, so let's go with our first pair. These are Tom Ford's. They are, these are actually um, prescription. I have them, my prescription in here. So by the way, um, when, you, when I actually put them on, you're gonna be able to see you're gonna be able to see the shading. Um, and I, where I get my sunglasses sometimes, I don't get all my sunglasses here, but when I get my sunglasses from this particular website, they are able to put my actual um, prescription in for me and they send them in after that's completed. And I get them from Smart Buy Glasses. So they're discounted one. And then to be honest, they put my prescription in at a cheaper rate than I get with my insurance. Cause I think I spent like $250 to get my prescription put into my Tom Ford glasses. Those are sunglasses too. And that's, I think I pay like $50 to get this in and look at the shading. The shading is awesome. It's pretty much exact. I think the color of the shading might be a little different on the on the um, original pair, but it's really good here. So let me try these on for you guys so you can see how they look. I have a big round face, so majority of the glasses you guys see, they're going to be really big. And I love these. Don't you love this? The only thing I don't like is I have to like constantly squeeze them in because they're made to fit anybody. Like if, you, if I had a wide face or a wide head, they're made to fit um, anyone, but I need them to be like pushed in a little bit because they constantly, I probably don't have like a good bridge on my nose either and that probably makes them slide more. Are these not the shiznit? Yep, I did a Snoop Dogg shiznit. That little piece on the side, it's giving. It's giving me a little something extra. It's giving me avi aviator. Like I'm literally gonna fly the plane right now. Yes. 
These are so cute. I like the way this looks on the outside. It gives it like some extra something. Will that make a print on your face? Maybe. They slide down so much, they end up right here. And they don't make a print when they do that. But I love these. Now, let me tell you guys the other thing. I never remember the name of these glasses. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't have the card thing that goes with it. I'm just, I'm going to have to just show you. <laughs> but I, what I can do is I can read off the model numbers for you. Uh, because I do have that. So these are the TF882s. Yep. These are the TF. So all time fours are TF and then 882s. And you have the ability to look these up. These come in different color shadings. Um, this piece right here comes in different colors. I think the other one is yellow. I just ended up with the all black. I always get all black everything. And there's our little Tom Ford tees in the front. But love these. I love Tom Ford. They're also like fly, super fly classic. All right, so let's see if I can get these back in. All right. I hate typing these out because they're hard to get back in the case because they have to lay a certain way. Maybe they have to sit up. Probably. Nope, that ain't it. This way. Bam. He always has these brown cases. All right, so that's the first pair. Okay, let's go back here. My glasses are a little bit dirty. Um, nope, I don't remember the name of these. <clears throat> and I have everything but the, like, original carpeties. These are Gucci. I really love these. They look super fly. I wore these when I went to, um, Arizona for the bike event. And I love the way these look. I wore them with my Fendi swimsuit as a bodysuit, which looks super cute. Um, I actually have bathing suits for that whole summer and I have them again. So I might sell those again. I still have a lot of those, um, swimsuits, especially I, the Fendi one that I wore. I don't have any of those in stock anymore. That was like literally the only one and then I couldn't find it anymore. So I had that one. It has red trim. Um, and then I wore holy jeans and I wore some kind of slide sandals I'm sure and then I wear these baby I, sorry you guys can see the ring light reflecting in these sunglasses I'm trying to maneuver it these are so cute look at those shades on the side snake skin around here and around here I love the detail they're super duper. They feel so comfortable. I wore them the whole day and literally that whole night. Um, I also wore them like this and they didn't slide up and down. They were super cute. Literally so cute. These are like some of my favorites. They're a little too fabulous for every like occasion so i kind of have to pick and choose when i want to wear them because they are kind of over the top but i love these these are actually brown if they look black in the screen they're brown and then the snake skin is black and white on them but i love these don't sleep on gucci these were very expensive they're like even on Smart Buy, I think they were like eight hundred dollars, something like that. All right, so let's go in. We back with Tom Ford. These are like my favorite glasses, you guys. I love glasses that I don't have to take off and I can wear the whole time. You can't tell me these aviators are not killer. They're killer. Classic. You never have to get rid of these ever now the gucci's are over the top and those could possibly need to be either gifted or but thought that big square look that comes back every season or every year so maybe not but these right here are never these are i could be 75 years old and i can still wear this look um up here these come in different colors oh, i 
forgot to give you guys some. I don't remember all the Gucci's, huh? Okay, well, we'll have to come back. But these are Tom Ford. Um, of course, you can't see it on here. Let me see. No, oh, they're on the sides of the, the little piece on the outside which nobody can see, which is fine. I could give up right fast, if anybody knows. They also have little TFs and the little nose thing, the, the little guard, so cute. But this is like a cream color, almost like an ivory, you know, like a piece of ivory, the way it looks, but it's cream and tan. Um, these are also prescription. So again, the color on the shading might be a little bit different if you ordered these because when you get the prescription, they have to give you the lenses that they have. So whatever shades that they have, they will match it up as close as possible, but it might not be exactly, but these are pretty spot on. This, the trim is gold, if you can't tell in the video. But I love these. I love that they have almost like a square-ish look, but they're really like rounded on the edges. I love these. I'll show you guys some round aviators very shortly. Um, let's see if we can get the model number for you. These are the TF 557s. TF 557s. Okay. So, two prescription, one not prescription that I'll show you guys. Let's go back to Gucci. I love these two. I love av aviators. You can probably tell that I kind of... My friend always says I buy the same glasses over and over. I, they don't look the same, so I guess I don't look at it that way. They might be similar in style because that style probably looks best on me. A big square, a big round, a big aviator. Those styles just look best on me. Why did this feel like I must have smashed them or something? Oh, you know I gotta fix that. No, ma'am. Ouch. You're ripping my hair out, Tom. Huh? I mean, Gucci. Okay, so these are the Gucci's. Obviously, you can tell on the top here, it's gonna say, Gucci's are always like a little bit over the top, right? A little team too much, okay? But I like these. Um, these are not prescriptions. <laughs> Um, they have the, if you can see it, it's very clear, the Gucci inside of the, the frame, uh, I'm sorry, the lens. So you can't replace these. These are child. I can see it, um, but I can barely see it. I don't know if you guys can tell. Right here is like, um... It's clear and it's silvery in the inside and I can barely see the model numbers. I like the little G's on the, on the sides. So cute. Why does this take so long to focus? I have a seriously good camera on the phone and it has fun. It also has like a serial number in the inside of the lens so you can't change the lenses out. So basically if I made them prescription all of these details would not be in there because they're etched into the lenses. These are so cute. These are very comfortable. I can wear these all day, all night which I, I have and I really love them. I love them. So those are my Gucci's. I have them in the bag because I gave my mom um, some sunglasses and it didn't have a case. So I just gave them to her because I don't know what I do with the case. So I gave her my case. All right, we're going to switch lanes. And we're going to go Porsche. I don't know if you guys have any Porsche sunglasses they're usually pretty really expensive I can barely get these like at a discount I have obviously I got these at a discount but they were still 
almost $400. But these are the really, really dark ones. But I'm gonna be honest, they're not dark. They're dark, but they're not. When I'm looking out, it's really not that dark. As dark as this lens looks to, you know, facing forward, they're not. They're so cute. Aviator, of course, has the Porsche um, detail up here. I like these little knots. Um, you can interchange the lenses. That's a good thing. So once you purchase um, a pair of Porsche sunglasses, you can basically switch out the lenses. I've kind of probably told you guys that in a different vlog um, when I went to the eyelash place, I think. Um, but you can switch out the lenses, which is nice. I'll show you a pair of lenses that I have. This is another pair of lenses that I can switch out. They switch out extremely easy. All you have to do is flip out this piece. Oh, you reckon money? Oh, I see. It's like a latch. So I flip the latch out and they slide out. Let's see what side I have. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's this side. Oh, good. Cool. I'll show you guys how they look. These are the mirrored looking ones. Mm -hmm. There we go. These have a mirrored look. Now you can see the difference. I've never worn the mirrored ones. I give you that cop look. I like the darker pair best. It's a pair of, they have a clear black. Those are the ones that I want next. But I like these because they're big in size and I love the fact that you can interchange the lens. And that's a good point of purchasing these as far as them being really expensive. Um, they're pretty, they're worth the actual cost if you can switch out the lenses and then have basically a brand new pair with the same lenses. Cause I think the lenses are only like 70 bucks, 70, 60, 70, I saw them on Amazon for like $73. That's really cheap in comparison with buying a brand new pair, which is almost $400 or more. If you probably buy them from the store, I just always buy mine from the discount spots. And this case is really cool. This is where your extra pair of lenses go and that keeps them from breaking and then your sunglasses fit perfectly in here of course they all come with these little um cleaning rags i feel like i'm missing some glasses right now maybe i'm not paying attention um these are the dior so let me tell you guys i don't know how but one of the, these teeny weeny screws came out um I mean the tiniest screw. So let me show you how they look. These are those new Christian Dior's. Let's see if I can see. Um, I think they are the 10 AOs. Dior, Dior Solar. Um, then it says like SIU, I think, or S1U 10 AO. These are, they were very expensive. Um, so for that one little screw coming out, that's very annoying. I was actually gonna return them. I was like, sometimes I hate returning stuff cause I'm not in the mood for it. Um, we'll see, I'll probably still return them. I just need to look for the receipt. I'm so mad though, that teeny weeny screw. These are so cute. The only thing I can tell you guys, when I do wear these, since they're closed off and the Tom Fords, you just got to remember that it's closed off right here when you drive and you have to turn your whole head around because it blocks your peripheral vision. But other than that, they're fabulous. Like, obviously, I haven't used the raggy thing. I usually clean them with like some type of cleaner, like window cleaner, something like that. So they can get really clean. I actually have the frame, the lens cleaner. I, I left mine at work. So I don't have it at home. 
So we're gonna switch lanes one more time. We're gonna go Celine. Celine's probably my favorite as far as the look is concerned. The Celine's are my favorites. The only thing I don't like is a lot of times the, just like the Tom Ford's, I need to have, go back to the eye, um, eye, eye doctor, like Liz Crafters or whatever, and have them um, soften this and squeeze it back in. Cause they will do that. And they'll fit, fit the sunglasses for you. These come off very easily. So it's like, I'm always like pushing them in. I have a big head, but right here is really slender. So it's like weird. My head is weird. I love these, the little dots are on the side, but look at that shade. Okay, look at the shading. The shading is crazy good. The shading on the Celine's are always crazy. Super good. I don't know the name of these, you guys already know. Um, these are the CL4S092s. That is the model number. So, just in case you are looking for these. These, the reason why I wanted these is because, remember, um, what is that show? <sighs> Something AF. Is it Married AF? Something AF on Netflix, but it's about the family, the guy that made, he made another show, um, but it's about the guy that literally created the show and he's showing obviously his fake family, but he's showing like, oh, this is my life and my family. The wife had these on and I think they went to like some island somewhere and she had these on and I was like, oh, I need those ASAP. So that's how I ended up with these Celine's. I love them. I love everything, all right? Celine's probably my favorite. I have some Celine dupes that I wear to work every single day and I love them to death. I wear them every day. They're yucky. They're peeling on the sides. I don't care. I love them to death. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and break down and get the newer version of them because they're the ones with the straight across and the round underneath with the, um, they're black and they fade into the tortoise underneath. So I think I'm gonna just break down and get the newer newer version of those um, in the real Celine's because I love them so much. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So I've done two, four, six, this is number seven. I've done seven already. These are all the newer ones, okay? Oh, I'm done with all all the newer ones. Duh. Let me go over some sunglasses. I mean, some eyeglasses real quick so I can show you. So I already showed you guys my blend seats. Eyeglasses. Yep, I love eyeglasses too. These are Tom Ford's. They are so dirty, so don't pay attention. These are my Tom Ford's. I really love these. I forgot. I think the housewives had these on, and that's what made me want to get them. But I love these to death. I can still wear these. I can still see how they is. They feel a little strong, so they must not be my prescription anymore. But I can still wear them. They're so cute. I won't give them up because I can always change the prescription in them. All right. I died for those. Um, these, I think I don't even, I don't even think I wore these. really sad these are celine don't these look like the tom fours but smaller these are celine these are prescription eyeglasses so cute um these are the cl41339s if you like these everybody's head and face is not as big as mine so these probably look better on somebody else Just to go back, these Tom Fords are the TF359, TF359s. Okay, so what do we have? Last but not least, oh my God, these are like my favorite eyeglasses ever. They're so comfortable. 
they are so yucky i need to get rid of them the cup the the whatever is covering the um frame like probably like a protectant like a plastic protectant it's filling it's ugly but they're my favorites oh my god these are my favorite these are my favorite glasses i never wear these though anymore they might have to go to have a little funeral for these i never wear them anymore i love them they're so comfortable they're very light and i think that's why i like them a lot of the sunglasses sunglasses and eyeglasses that they all of my eyeglasses are sunglasses but they're kind of heavy okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the older but i'm not giving them away guys <laughs> ever <laughs> so these ones that i'm about to show you are jimmy choo and i died for these i will continue to wear these i take still take them on vacations because i think they look cute um like when you go to the beach or you wear if you wear like a fly girl bathing suit so i do continue to take these on vacations they're giving um like the old school um gazelles look i'll never give these away they're so cute if you're on the beach and you have like that black cute bathing suit i feel like these are cute they're giving skin tone they go with skin tone really well the jimmy choos on the side trying to see if they so you guys can get the full effect because i feel like you're not literally these are extra these have to be 10 years old and they look immaculate there's nothing wrong with them nothing's peeling i think the peeling starts when like from your skin oils that happens from wearing them so I don't know where the case is for this. So they ended up with a Marc Jacobs case. I don't know how I lost the cases. This pair of Jimmy Choo's, I never had the case for. I think I got them from Sex Off If or whatever they call it. Um, these are old. You guys will say that, and that's okay. I will never give these away. Ever. Zero. Ever. These are beach as well. Definitely beach. They're huge. You have to have kind of a big face to wear these. Um, to be honest, you can't even tell. Can you tell these are old? Like, they're not giving old look. They're not giving old to me. They're giving like, I'm taking these to the beach. Like, I wouldn't wear these to brunch, right? To brunch, you want to do, like, your new shit, you know? Your new fly girl. But these, they they don't look OD, but um, they're giving me, like, on the beach, on the, at the pool, shield look, right? That shield kind of look. Like, you know, when the girls are wearing the visors with the shield in the front, they're giving me shield. And I feel like I need to shield the sun. And that gives me... By the beach, by the pool, something like that, right? Okay, so we aren't giving these away, period. Period. Oh, these are all the goodies. Yes. I'm never giving these away either. I feel like these came back on the up. I had these for a really long time too. These are Dior. I keep forgetting to give you guys some model numbers, huh? I'll try to have them in my description box for you. These are, I feel like the girls that wear like the vintage looks like the true religions, the this, the, like they would appreciate these. I don't know why that's vintage. Like I was wearing that and I'm not vintage. 
I don't appreciate that. Is my little catification treatment giving me some cheekbone? Okay. My double chin, it's getting better, y'all. It is not bad. It is not bad right now. So we're giving. I'm gonna always have a fat face. So I'm not trying to take my fat face away. I am trying to just define some of it so it's not so like I don't want fat. I don't want to look fat just because you see my face. But I always have a fat face ish situation. These are so cute. Okay. Let me get this one so I don't forget anymore. These are. Ooh. Viador. That's cute. That's what they're called. Viador. Viador. That's a cute neck. Somebody named their child that. No? Okay. That's okay. These are Marc Jacobs. And I don't know why I won't give these away. But I won't. They're aviators. They're so old. Look at that shading though. You can't give these away. The shading is sick. These aren't even old. They're not going to get old. They're too classic. Why do these look like the Tom Fords, you guys? Get your life. Tom Ford, did you take the Mark Jacobs? You did something, bro, because these are almost... Honey, look at that hole. These are almost the same. Wow. Okay. You know, I'm not giving these away. Remember, these are all old glasses that I've had forever. Um, they'll probably come up on some internet search. But they're old. I love them. I won't give them away. And these are MJ, because they're Marc Jacobs, 052S. MJ 052S. Mark I used to love Mark Jacobs. I used to literally go to the Mark Jacobs store like every weekend. Mark Jacobs was the back in the day. I don't know why I won't let these go. You guys can tell me what you guys think. These are green, by the way. When you see them on the screen, I don't know what they're gonna come up as, but they have a green tint. Aren't these giving old school? Old school. These are Gucci. Look at that G. That's that's how you can tell they're old. That G, honey. That's an old G right there. These are GG 2720s. People don't wear sunglasses like this anymore. This is giving old a little bit. I love these. Just call me old. I'm fine with that. Just call me oldie. I would still wear these, I think. I haven't worn them in forever. Like, obviously, I just showed you guys, like, eight or nine pair that are in current rotation. So, sometimes it's just hard for me to get back to these. I really only wear them on the weekends. During the week, I'll wear my Celine Dupes. I have, now, what I do have a lot of is dupes. I have a buzz. I have probably 30 pairs of dupes. So, I'll have to show you guys that in a separate video because it's going to be forever. I'll probably go a lot faster because they're not designer. There's no model numbers. But I have a lot of Celine looks in there. These are cute. So, again, I gave a lot of sunglasses away, so believe me, I would have a whole bunch more than this if I kept all my sunglasses. Okay, I'm going to show you my most beloved sunglasses. They are vintage Gucci. 
they're so vintage that some of the lens, the tint that's on the lens is starting to peel at the bottom. When I wear them, you can't really tell, but it is, I'm scared to fix them. So I don't know what's gonna happen to them. I love, love, love these sunglasses. So cute. The little Gucci's on the side. If you can see that. Oh, it's so hard to see. Okay. So cute. I never take these off. So you can really, you really can't tell. Look, they're peeling from the inside, so you can't really see that. This right here is like a dark brown color. These aren't prescription, by the way, obviously, because they have that peeling tint. Um, again, the little Gucci is right here where it's engraved. They're so delicate and so scared they're gonna break. Um, I only take them certain places. And again, when I do wear them, I don't take them off. Cause I love them and you can't find them again. So sad. I would love a brand new pair of those. They literally are in a box. So I can make sure that nothing crushes them. Okay, so these are some of my favorite aviators that I've had for a thousand years. They are um, Michael Kors. Okay, so here's one thing. Here's the issue. This little clear thing that goes over the nose piece is missing on this side and I need to replace it. But aren't these just like some classic aviator sunglasses? These are the sunglasses that he would have like all the models wear in all like the Vogue magazines and things like that. These are the sunglasses from a while ago. These are very, very old. I literally have the original case and everything. I love them. I'm gonna replace this one day. I have to figure out how to replace it because the whole, there's a, Michael Kors has like a special piece just like the Tom Ford's and it says Michael Kors in them. And that is what the clear piece is on. So it looks like it might not be replaceable, but I'll try. Here's some super old sunglasses. And you will be able to tell these are old. These are very old. They're Fendi. I think I'm going to get rid of these. Like, seriously. They look like they're resting on one side. I don't think I need these anymore. I'm not interested. I don't know why I won't give them up. Why do I want these? Oh, Lord. They're not ugly. But... I don't need them. They have the case and everything. I've had them forever. So, I think I've showed you guys everything. That wasn't even a lot, right? Like, my first, what, 8 to 10, which is, like, my current rotation glasses. That's not really a lot of sunglasses. I'm just be honest. It's really not. I know people with, they can fill a whole sunglass station up, like, you know, the little thing that you can grab all your sunglasses, they can fill that up, like, so, compared to them, I have nothing, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, I love sunglasses a lot, a lot of my friends will ask me, like, hey, can you find me some sunglasses, because they feel like I'll pick out good sunglasses, they're already picked out. I usually pick them from like wherever I see them. So it's not like it's anything special. Or like if I see a pair of sunglasses in a magazine or if I see them on Instagram or like I see a girl in them. The Tom Ford's with the hole in the front. Um, these. I saw a designer wearing these, um, a black designer. I can't think of her name right now. Her clothes are really fly and different. Um, I think she's Caribbean or African. 
she had these on, but she had the ones with the yellow sides. And when I looked them up, they came in black and that's how I ended up with those. So I'm not like going online and picking them. Um, I just like what I see and then I go look for them. There is not like any method to my madness. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, girls. But I think I am. I'll show you guys really quick just a couple of bathing suits that I have still left um, from last year. I think I'm going to continue because I'm going to sell these again this year. Why not, right? Who doesn't want a swimsuit? And who wants to spend a lot of money for it? So, I mean, everybody can talk shit. Oh, you baby, so you didn't get a Who gives up? It's gonna get messed up when you go swimming. How many, how long are you gonna be able to keep it? Just get this one. And to, to me, I think it's fine. Don't spend a million dollars on a swimsuit. You know, you're gonna mess it up. It's gonna get yucky from being in the ocean uh or having it multiple times it's cute enough to where you can wear it several times you don't have to keep going to buy another one how, how, how many times do you swim or get in the water in the summertime probably like let's say a maximum of five times if you wear this swimsuit five times how many people are going to see you because they're separate situ situations you're going to wear the swimsuit just wear just get one cute one if you want to get like different styles, I would say it's good. If you want a one piece, if you want a bikini, if you want. So that's different. Like that's something you should do. But as far as like spending $600 on a swimsuit that you're going to mess up in the ocean, in the chlorine filled pool, all of that, don't spend too much for it don't go over two hundred dollars that's my opinion you know you guys can do what you want with that that's what i think of it these swimsuits run really small because i think majority of these i have an extra large and they run real small honey i didn't even try this one on i don't know what it's like to wear so this one this is cute I'm the type of person that's like, okay, when it's worth it, it's worth it. If it's not, who cares? Don't spend a lot. Now my sunglasses, I get those from the discount site, so they're they're on point. They're not. Again, I get 95% of my sunglasses and eyeglasses from smartbyglasses.com and I'll, po I'll post that in my description and again they put in the prescriptions for you so they make it really really easy for you to purchase so don't worry about that all right so let me um I just wanted to show you guys like what I had from last year like I was selling accessories and things like that I think I'm gonna I'll probably have some swimsuits this again this year a lot of people bought them um I actually had an influencer as well and she sold me out um which was fantastic so they were well worth it it was just something fun to do it wasn't even like a big I did make a, I made some money. It's not like I didn't make a million dollars off of it, but it was really like me just like looking for things that I really, really like um, and sharing it with everybody and giving them an option to purchase them. Plus, I I was buying my own bathing suit, so I was like, oh, why don't I just overbuy these? Duh, that's easy. So I had the headbands to match them. So obviously when you go swimming, you want to like either put a headband, it's sizzling hot. So who wants to mess up their edges? You want to, or you know, want to pull up your hair and have it have a little 
these little things to go with this. So it was something cute to do. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys before I go, I was watching Force in the kitchen while I was um, cleaning everything up for my breakfast. And I finally saw that Diamond hooked up with somebody. I was like, oh my goodness. I think he is, he's pretty fire. So we finally saw him with somebody. He seems like he was given a little boring, but he still looks good. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. He was, it was like, maybe he's never did that scene before and he had to like make it work. I don't know. How do you even do those scenes? How do you do a sex scene with somebody that you're not really doing it with? They're completely naked. You're completely naked with like a towel. What do you, I don't know. That's kind of private. Uh, to me it is. I'm, I'm, private. I'm not a naked person. I'm not gonna just walk around naked or be naked in front of other people. I don't know. But it was a good scene. It was nice to see, obviously, as an actor. He just got out of jail, so he hasn't been with anybody. And he was the girl was like, oh, I felt special. And I was like, aw. I don't know how special she felt. She went home on the same night with a guy she met at a diner. I don't know. But it seemed, the transition was really weird because they sat down and he was like, hey, you're sitting in my booth. And she was like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> after a while, after he stood there for a while, she was like, you you know, you can sit and join me, but, you know, in your booth. So they chit-chatted for a while. And I don't even know if he, he ate a little bit off her plate, which is, I'm not eating off of somebody's plate that I don't know. So that was weird. And then all of a sudden they were in the bed. I, at least they could have, he could have said like, you want to have a drink in my place? The transition was odd to me, whatever. Maybe they had to cut it out. Maybe it was, I don't know. That transition was weird. Then all of a sudden she's like, oh, I gotta go. It's like the middle of the night. Um, and she's like, oh, I have to leave. The, and somebody called her or texted her in the middle of the night. And she gets down to the bottom of the stairs and she's looking at her phone. And it's showing him like, oh, he was in jail for 15 years. It has his name. Girl, are you the police? I don't know. That's what I was thinking. I was like, is she the police or... I don't know. I don't think, to me, she would be like the FBI because they don't normally have the police do stuff like that. They're not gonna be like, do by any means necessary, have sex with him and everything and make him love you. That's not really the FBI. So I guess we'll find out um, <laughs> the rest of the story on the next episode. We only have two episodes left and that's Power Book Force. So keep watching. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and the eye, my sunglass and eyeglass collection and haul. So thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. Love you. Please subscribe and like because I want to be able to get more viewers so I can give you guys better and better content. I want to keep going with it. I want to make this summer like huge. I want you guys to see a lot of LA. I'm going to do a lot of that this summer. Um, I'll probably, I'm not sure. I haven't completely figured it out if I'm going to start my bike channel or if I'm going to actually have it on this channel. So we'll see. I know I show you guys a lot of beauty, a lot of fashion, a lot of stuff like that. So it's probably easier for me to have it on this channel and just have it all together than to have it separate because then I'll have to run two separate channels. But the content is not liked by the same people. So, and I'm aware of that. So we'll see. I'll try to figure that out um, very, very soon because the summer is going to be like, and then there it is.
<laughs> but LA is pretty fun in the summertime. I want you guys to be able to see that and enjoy the content that way. And I know I don't show you guys a lot of my fashion stuff and the stuff that I purchase. I have no idea why. Um, I don't think I buy stuff as much as like the other vloggers do. I think I buy stuff like all at once, kind of. So I think about something I want, I buy it, and then I'll get like three colors, four colors, different size styles. So I have a lot of stuff that I haven't even worn and it's just in my closet waiting for the summertime to roll around. I even still have winter stuff that I haven't even worn yet, um, like from Zara, actually from my Zara haul that's um, here. So we'll see, I will see what I can do as far as like, when I make my decisions, I'll let you guys know. But thank you again. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and tell a friend. Breakfast with Miss Shine is going to evolve by summer. Thank you.